Good evening, everybody. It's your girl, Yusi Lo, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, then thank you for joining. Uh, for today's video, I thought it'd be fun to share a story time about the time we got a private tour of the fire station. So this story starts off by me staying at my friend's house for a week because she was gone to Europe. So everything's fine. I think it's Friday night and I went out with some friends. So I come home and it's like three in the morning and I'm hungry. So I go in the fridge. The fastest thing that I can make is eggs. So I grab them, I'm looking for the oil, can't find it, and decide to make them anyway. So I'm like, it starts sticking to the pan. So I'm using like a wooden spoon trying to, but it's all sticking. So it's sticking to the pan and it starts smoking. So her smoke detector goes off. So I'm there, I'm like, I grab a pillow and I'm just underneath like waving at it, hoping it stops, it's not stopping. And I don't know what to do. I like climb on a top of a chair and I literally rip it out of the ceiling thinking that's it. But it's not. Because I ripped it off the ceiling, her home alarm system starts to go off. Give me the password, I have no idea where it is. I'm like running around panicking, looking for this password. And then I find it, but before I find it, this starts counting down. It's like 10, nine, eight. I'm like, <laughs> I put the code in, shuts off. I think nothing of it. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go to bed. So I'm all underneath the sheets, all comfortable. And I hear the fire trucks. I'm like, okay. And it's coming closer and closer and closer. So the way that my friend lives in a basement of a house. So her bedroom is underneath the front door of the house. And then the entrance is backwards. So um, her window's open. I hear the firemen, they're outside the house and they're like, nobody's home. And I'm hiding against the wall trying to hear and I'm like, Oh my God, like they say no one's home, maybe they're just gonna leave. And then they're like, no, the fire detector went off. We're gonna have to call the owners. Or we can't just leave like this. So I'm panicking. I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna call my friend's sister who lives an hour away and she's sleeping. Like, what am I gonna do? So I just, I'm like, hi. I'm like, where's that coming from? I'm like, down here. <laughs> and, um, so they're like, how, like, is there, are you gonna come up, open the door? I said, no, like you have to come around and I can let you in, even though I didn't wanna let them in. So they're at the door, I open it this much. I was like, hi, everything's fine. I was just trying to make some eggs and like, we have to come in and investigate it. And I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, why do you have to come in? So my friend's apartment was such a mess like there's literally mountains of clothes and shoes and random things everywhere so they come in and they're just like in shock looking around and just they're like mm, nothing to see here um but they go to the stove they just see like the little pan like with the st stuck eggs and like okay yeah nothing serious um they put the thing back on for me and they leave I'm just like, can I? And they were cute young guys too, so I was just so embarrassed. But I was like, I'll never see these people again, nothing, like that's it. So fast forward to a few weeks later, I'm at my friend's house for dinner and I think we're making tacos. So we're like cooking the beef and the, the detector goes off again. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like we cannot let this go off. So now we're both underneath like, and it's not going off, it's not going off. So she opens the door to let the air out, the smoky air out, I have no idea. But it's still going off, it's still going off. I was just like, oh my goodness. And she's like, she gets annoyed and she rips it off. I'm like, oh my God. And then her alarm goes off, she shuts it off quickly. And she's like, you know what? Like probably, they're probably not gonna come because I shut it off fast. Like, I'm just like, oh my gosh. I hope that they don't come. So anyways, Two minutes later, you hear the trucks. But there's always two trucks that come because one has the firemen and one truck is full of water. 
So they come, they come to the back door, and I'm hiding in the bedroom because I'm like, I don't want, I don't know who, if it's the same fire people, like, I don't want them to see me. So I'm hiding in her bedroom, and they come in, and one of the guys is like looking around, and he's like, you know what? I feel like I've been here before. And he's like, this place is so familiar. He's, and then my friend, she exposes me. She's like, yeah, my friend, she's hiding in the bedroom. She set a fire uh, a few weeks ago. So I was like, great. Like, I come out of the bedroom because I can hear this. I'm just like, hi, I wasn't hiding. I was just napping. Like, <laughs> so they take the detector, and I don't know, like, maybe inside there's a setting. Like, they do something and then they put it back on. And friends, like, you know what? I always wanted to get a tour of the station. And they're like, you guys want to come now? It's like 9 p.m. But we're like, sure, like, why not? So we get in the one of the trucks and we go to the station and it's actually pretty cool. So they have like a basketball court, a gym, a TV, cause they're just there killing time until there's a fire or false fires. Um, I actually have some app chats while I was there. So I have some footage that I can share with you guys. So that is my story of how me and my friend got a private tour of the fire station. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if you'd like to see more story times, subscribe below. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and until next week.